we've talked about the big winners from Trump's victory. But we always have to ask if there's anything that's been thrown away that shouldn't have been. The proverbial babies with the bathwater. I see a bunch of them. Let's start with solar. President-elect Trump pokes fun at solar, but in the last debate, he said he's a big fan of solar. When it comes to energy under Trump, what matters to him is whether it's American-made. If it is, then it can thrive. Take First Solar. Did you know that First Solar is the only major solar company based in the U.S. and has multiple plants in the country? I don't think it's a sell with the stock down nearly 22 today. I prefer to buy it. Same goes for Nextractor, a solar technology company based in the United States that's getting just hammered. It makes solar fields more efficient, sources 100% American. That's why you own it for the Chapel Trust. No, I don't expect subsidies from Washington for alternative energy anymore. That said, it's very clear that we need a lot more electricity in the country, and half the new power added to the grid is solar, because it's the most cost-effective form of energy now. Why would it be punished unless it's part of the Chinese import situation? Fortunately, first, solar and next tracker are, as I say, all American. Costco got knocked out earlier today with the rest of the retailers. That's nonsense. Costco's about membership fees. They pass on any savings that can, can to the customers. So they're going to be the cheapest of any retailer, and they take share if imported groceries get hit with tariffs. It's simply incorrect that Costco's being treated like the other retailers. If anything, you should layer into this one for the long term. It might be open. Let's say it opens down tomorrow. I would. Bye, bye, bye. We bought some BlackRock today when it was down. The repository of the most money on earth opened up trading as high as 1057 That's a 43-point gain. And then sold off until it actually went negative. We swung into action for the Chapel Trust when that happened because BlackRock's offering funds that benefit from infrastructure spending and Bitcoin. Plus, there's private credit money. It's raising $1.3 billion right now to deploy as private credit. CEO Larry Fink thinks that banks and companies like his are increasingly doing the same thing. And his company has real advantages over the banks. I couldn't agree more. I was concerned that a Harris regime might crimp BlackRock's efforts. That's why we, last night, well, was it just a gigantic win for BlackRock? Now, there are no sure things when it comes to anything related to housing, when mortgage rates are flying. But I think some stocks are all about rates coming down, even if it's short rates set by the Fed. And Home Depot's the number one stock you should reach for in a rate cut cycle. Remember, you can get a reasonable home equity loan to redo your home. It isn't called rehab and renovation for nothing. I think that Home Depot down almost $12. Tremendous opportunity. Of course, a lot of stocks that went down today deserve to go down. Super Micro reported last night. I am very, very worried about this company. Because its orders just resigned, specifically saying that they don't trust the numbers. Yesterday, we learned that the board conducted a review and found nothing untoward. To which I say, Ernst Young doesn't resign for nothing. Hey, by the way, memo to the company. Neither the SEC nor the Justice Department likes it when companies exonerate themselves. That's the job of the regulators. I see Supermicro losing a lot of business to HPE and Dell. Plus, it had a real bad quarter. Then we have the dollar stores. I wouldn't buy them. If there are gigantic tariffs put on Chinese merchandise, these guys will be gutted by their own dollar store ethos. I want to include Five Below here, which sources 60% of its goods from China. It works at as five below, but I, I wouldn't want it to go to 10 below. Over time, we'll find other stocks that have been unfairly whacked in response to the election, but this is as good a list as you can get until we know more about Trump's cabinet appointees. No matter what, when the Dow's up 1,500 points, people must look for laggers. You should, too. Alexa, there's always a bull market somewhere, and I try to find it just for you right here at Mad Money. I'm Jim Kramer. See you tomorrow.